Hey guys, Roguelide Soli. Um, this is my second video, and I thought I'd uh, do just a quick kind of unveiling of my first tobacco press. Um, this was really just kind of an experiment. Um, I've only been smoking pipes for about probably three or four months um, solid. I mean, I've, I've had pipes for um, a little over a year now, but I uh, really kind of switched from cigars over to pipes. Uh, within the last three or four months. And of course, like everybody else, I started with aromatic tobacco. And I had some laying around. I've since switched to uh, predominantly Virginias, Virginia Periques, and um, quite a bit of English as well. But uh, so I had some old aromatics laying around. Uh, this specific aromatics, uh, there's actually two of them that I put into this uh, this press. One was uh, Lane Limited BCA and the other was RLP6. Um, it was actually a pretty good combination before I put it into the press and I thought well I have it laying around I'm not really smoking it that much so we'll try this as an experiment before I try it with something else like an English or um, uh, something a little bit more readily uh, smokable for me now. So as you can see I had to apply a little bit of uh, extra leverage to get the C-clamp out. That pipe you see is a 3-inch PVC pipe. And I've used uh, hockey pucks as a means to uh, press the tobacco. It, actually, a pretty good fit. Um, but one problem I had was that the C-clamp kind of slid around a little bit. So what you'll see here is you won't be able to see until I get it out the... Uh, the hockey pucks because I have carved a couple of pieces of wood as kind of end caps for the hockey pucks. And then I also dremeled out a little spot for the clamp to kind of sit in. You can see it right there. Um, that's where the clamp sat. And that helped it to keep from sliding around and kind of go at an angle. It still did go at a little bit of an angle. So it's not an, an exact uniform press, but uh, it seemed to work pretty good. Um, I'll probably make some adjustments on the next time I do it. You can also see that it took quite a bit of uh, hammering, the back end of a hammer, to get the plug out. A little bit of effort. It was in there pretty good. Plus, some of the uh, tobacco juice, I guess you'd call it, was right up against the side, so that added a little bit to the resistance. And I got the first puck and piece of wood out and there you can see that's the bottom of the press uh, at this point I was pretty excited it looked really good all things considered better than I thought it was gonna look so a couple of more nice solid hits with the hammer and it should pop right out. Man, when it popped out, it popped out. There it is. It's a nice little plug of tobacco. It was actually a lot more firm than I thought it was going to be. And of course, you can see where there's the pucks don't, don't make an exact match. Um, so there's a little bit of extra kind of flake. Gloves were a great idea again, if you ever do this. Gloves are an absolute. So, I thought at this point it'd probably be a good idea to put it in some kind of a container, and I had an old uh, tin that I had another aromatic in. But before I did that, I thought, well, let's cut off the, the edges. I mean, I waited for two weeks. I might as well give something a try. And it was, it was pretty goopy. Um, but believe it or not, it smoked pretty good. Um, I think the biggest change between 
the blend before it went in and the blend that it came out was it was a lot more monotone I don't know if that makes sense or not but it was kind of one dimensional when it came out so I don't know if I'm going to like it I don't know if that was maybe just because it was on the edge but I'll have to uh, to give some more a chance and see what the flavors are like out of the center of the plug. And FYI, I ended up putting it in a one of those little short fat uh, ball jars just because I didn't want to take any chances with it drying out. So as you can see, I'm scraping up all the goodness. And uh, eventually I put everything into, I have one of those little uh, hardwood um, Missouri Meershams just to give it a chance. It turned out pretty good. I'm pretty impressed, all things considered. Again, Rogue Glide Sully. Catch you next time.